Hi there folks. Today we're going to learn about how to set up your sequences for auto sampling using GCMS. Let's have a look. So here we are at the GCMS. Uh, we have a bunch of samples loaded up ready to go here. Uh, I'm going to show you how to get these things set up. The first thing you want to do is to make sure that the GCMS auto sampler, which is this tower right here, is actually plugged into the injection port. Right now you can see it's having a fault, a red fault line which means it's not prepared. So we need to move it over to stick it onto the turret. So this pin here needs to go into this hole. And so you can set it down and it should click straight down and be seated. You'll also see that it goes to ready, okay? I also like to check one thing. I'll open this syringe port and make sure that this little knob can move up and down freely. If it can't move up and down freely, that means that we have a jam in the syringe and we'll need to do some cleaning of it before we actually do our experiment. So I make to make sure this thing goes all the way up and down without any work at all. Then I'll close this. And it's gonna do a little spin, spin, spin and uh, get itself figured out. Now in the meanwhile, we have a couple of these little solvent vials that usually will be sitting right here in the solvent A and solvent B slots. Every time you do this, you need to make sure that solvent A is hexane and solvent B is methanol. Um, and we can do that over by the hood. So I'm gonna grab these out. It doesn't matter which one is which. For now, I'm just going to make a little space to, for us to do this. So if you look over here under the hood, I got some methanol and some uh, some hexane. There's methanol here. So all I need to do is fill it up to the minimum solvent level line. You can go a little bit above that if you want. Nothing fancy. And you want to be careful that you don't lose this little white septum in here. That's what prevents it from evaporating too fast. That can fall on the ground and it's really hard to see because it's already clear. So make sure that stays intact. And then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna put it into the solvent A slot. And then I'm gonna do the same process for methanol in our other vial. The idea here is that we want a polar and a non-polar solvent so that we can clean out anything that gets gunked into the syringe, any of our sample that's left over, it will get dissolved. So now I have methanol into there, and I'm gonna go move that into solvent B here in the turret, okay? So we have both of our solvents in here. We have two waste containers. If those aren't looking full, you can just leave them, no biggie. Um, and now we'll go ahead and set up our program. Another key important thing, uh, as you can see, is to fill out the logbook. So I have filled out JM226, two injections, and my solvent. So be sure you always do that when you're doing these. Um, make sure you're signing up so that we know kind of how often the instrument's being used. If you need to, you can say Chem 408, just so we know who is kind of associated with it and who to yell at if something gets messed up. Okay, so I got a couple of samples here. I have them in spots one and two in the auto samplers tray. And so I wanna program the, the computer to actually take these samples and use them in the right method to get them to be read. So I have them in the right spots, they're already prepared. And now I'm gonna go over to the computer. Look it up. And out of anything that's open already we can always get back in okay. so if you're in here you want to go to GCMS which is right over here GCMS double click that that'll bring up the GCMS controller
and it's gonna be on whatever settings the last person to run it was using. And could do something like this. Okay. So I'm gonna to go to method as soon as it comes up. Any little errors there come up. Go ahead and click them. I want to load a method. And I want to go onto the desktop. We should have maybe at the bottom down here a chem 408. There it is, chem 408 methods. Uh, if you're doing fatty acids, you're gonna to wanna to use the fatty acids too. Uh, this is what we're usually gonna do for our uh, rattle sampler, so I'm just gonna load fatty acids too. And this already is set for all of our prior, our protocol pieces, all of our temperatures, and this will get the GCMS ready to go. So you can see that it's loaded up here, it says fatty acids 2.m, that's the method we want. Now it's time for us to set up our sequence table. So up here in sequence, we want to edit the sequence. And you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff here that we don't need. I like to just, I know I'm gonna have two samples. They're already in vials one and two. And I'm just gonna highlight what I don't need and delete the rows, okay? So now we're just gonna name the samples. I'm gonna say this is olive oil or eggs or whatever, one and olive oil two. We want to say where we're going to save these though, so I'm going to go to my data path, and again on the desktop, under that chem 460, or 408 rather, find that down here, we have a data folder, and I want to make a new folder in here, and I'm just going to call that olive oil. Rename olive oil. Okay, so I can put it wherever I want, just put it somewhere you can remember. The method path is in 408 methods. And so we want to make sure that it's fatty acids too. It's whatever this thing is right here needs to be here. Fatty acids 2.m, just fatty acids 2. Okay, the data file is what, this will be what the name of the file is in the program. The data file is what you name it. So I might say JM22618 olive oil one. That's a nice way to do it. Okay? And it's going to go into the olive oil. Okay, and then I'll do the same thing. JM22618 olive oil two. Okay? Nothing else needs to change. Just hit OK. And I'll also save that sequence. So up to sequence, save sequence as. Back on the desktop, chem 408 sequence tables, and I'll say JM olive oil. Now what we're gonna do is wait for it to say oven ready. Um, we need to get the oven to the right temperature. It's right now it's at 60 and going down. So as soon as that's ready, I'll send you back. All right, so we have seen that there's no GC status message anymore. Our oven temperature is where we wanna start at and this will be different for every method that we do. Um, as long as there's no status message here and you have your sequence all edited and ready to go, and we are. Our data files are in the right place. We're just gonna go here and go to run sequence. Uh, let's do a comment on here. I'm just gonna say JM olive oil. And use your initials, don't really have to. Make sure the data is still going to the right place. And then hit run sequence. And that's gonna send the instructions to the GCMS to begin the analysis. Beast awakens. It's gonna grab the sample here from the tray. You see the turrets starting to rotate to take in our sample. And now there's gonna be a series of washes. 
of the syringe. Gonna take some of Solvent 1 in and inject it into waste a few times. This is all completely automated. You don't have to follow anything. I just like to sit and watch and make sure it happens right the first time. Now it's into Solvent 2. Grabbing some of our sample. Washing the syringe with some of our sample. Now it's taking the one microliter we're injecting. And it's gonna go right onto the column. And now it's gonna wash it out and clean it out for the next sample. So it's back into solvents. And now all I have to do is wait for the results. So, good luck. All right, so we have seen that there's no GC status message anymore. Our oven temperature is where we want to start at, and this will be different for every method that we do. Um, as long as there's no status message here and you have your sequence all edited and ready to go, and we are, our data files are in the right place. We're just going to go here and go to run sequence. Uh, let's do a comment on here. I'm just going to say JM olive oil. And use your initials. Don't really have to. Make sure the data is still going to the right place. And then hit run sequence. And that's going to send the instructions to the GCMS to begin the analysis. Okay. And the beast awakens. It's going to grab the sample here from the tray. You can see the turrets starting to rotate to take in our sample. going to be a series of washes of the syringe. I'm going to take some of Solvent 1 in and inject it into waste a few times. This is all completely automated. You don't have to follow anything. I just like to sit and watch and make sure it happens right the first time. Now it's into Solvent 2. Grabbing some of our sample. syringe with some of our sample. Now it's taking the one microliter we're injecting. And it's going to go right onto the column. And now it's going to wash it out and clean it out for the next sample. So it's back into solvents. And now all I have to do is wait for the results. So, good luck.